So today I'm going to be making a almond flour crusted chicken. Um, so I use, like to use almond flour for a few reasons. First of all, my mother-in-law is gluten-free and when she eats over, I like to have a gluten-free option. Almond flour is obviously going to be better than using obviously regular flour, or using breadcrumbs, things like that. Um, so I like to use it as just that coating. I also really like it because it's really low in calories, but we also have four grams of protein. Uh, we got, you know, so we got, you know, protein out of that. Um, and we get fiber out of that as well. So we got a few grams, like two to three grams of fiber. So anywhere we can get protein and fiber. Also there's healthy fats in, in, uh, in, in almond flour and almonds itself. So I really like to utilize that again, making things a little bit more nutrient dense. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you about, and you can do this to practice also with your breadcrumbs as well. Um, I have some almond flour here. I'm just using this plate. There's just nothing in here right now. They're not seasoned. Again, you can do this with your breadcrumbs. Um, and then I'm just going to season it up. So I'm going to do, um, you can do really any seasonings you want. I like to keep it pretty simple. So I do some garlic powder and then I do some onion powder. And you really don't have to put any salt or pepper in this. Um, you can put salt and pepper if you'd like, but you really, really don't need the seasons it really, really nicely. I put some paprika in the paprika. I like to put just because I find it adds also the color, so it's not so white. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take your hand or a glove, whatever, just kind of mix that up, right? We want all the, the seasonings to get mixed up with the almond flour. I'm going to mix all that up and that's that glove on. I'm going to take, I have a chicken. You can use any type of chicken. I just have plain chicken breast here. You can use chicken on the bone. You can do with the skin, with no skin. Um, you can do dark meat chicken, you can do, you know, on the bone, off the bone. I just like a simple chicken color because we're going to make a simple chicken salad with this. So I have some chicken color there. I'm going to egg that up. You want to make sure you get enough egg in all the crevices so that the almond flour really sticks nicely. Um, and then we're going to just coat it with our almond flour. And again, just like the egg, we want to make sure we get the almond flour all over so that we got really good flavor because this is what's flavoring our chicken, right? And as we all know, chicken chicken in general, chicken cutlet, especially has no real flavor and we do need to add some flavoring to it. So this is where we're getting that flavor. I'm gonna add that there. I'm just gonna do one to show you guys right now. Add that right there. And then what I like to do just to kind of crisp up the skin a little bit in the oven is I like to put a little bit of um, avocado oil spray. You can use any sort of spray. You can even drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top, but I have the spray and I find it just evenly does its job. Spray a little bit at the top. That, pop it in the oven, 350. Put it in for about 40 minutes. And then this is the final result. I put it over a salad. I put it over some spinach, some avocado, some tomato. The chicken like looks crispy, right? It looks really delicious. And, you know, the paprika gave it that really nice color. Um, and then I just have a really simple, simple drafting to put on top of here. I have, um, again, using you know, no salt. I have um, some olive oil, a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar, um, a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard, uh, some onion powder and garlic powder, and that's it. I'm gonna put that on top of the salad. You don't even need too much because already everything's seasoned really nicely. And that is that. That's a meal. It's delicious. It's colorful and it's super, super healthy.